what makes Salford such a special place? Well, I think it's our people. The people of the city and the people in the city council who serve them. Being a public servant isn't a job, it's a vocation. It's about using your working life to put something back into communities and help other people. And isn't it fantastic that here in the city council, we've got 11,000 people day in, day out, doing just that. I think if, if, if we can improve their lives in whatever way, um, and again with us all being so individual, um, the needs of each individual are so specific, but overall if we can improve their lives, whether it by, be by a, a quality of life issues or developing new skills or interaction with other people and so-called feeling normal so that people don't feel isolated, and I, I, th I think we're identified by the vocation that we do. Giving people a vocation, people ask people on the street here, and what do you do? Oh, I work in a garden centre, and I think that's really precious to people. No matter how specialist their job is, it's really important to them because they can apply themselves to the work that they're doing and be associated with having a vocation in life, which is really important. service users are everything. They are everything to us and they should be everything to everybody in the council no matter what job we do. It isn't just about us on the front line, it's about people doing strategies, it's about councillors who are planning what's going to happen in the next 10 years, you know, for Salford. Um, the customer is everything um, and the customer now, the customers have more choice. They can now start to decide to decide what they want to pay for, what services they want. Um, they have a greater voice um, and it's about us listening to that voice and putting those things in place and not just us putting them in place but doing it in partnership with customers so they're involved in the decision making about the future of the service. What's special about working for Salford City Council is that staff are really given the genuine opportunity to shape and mould uh, services um, to come up with new ideas and new ways of working um, and are empowered to put those ideas into practice and see them through. Um, we are given the opportunity and support to take risks and put, put our uh, new ways of thinking into practice. Well, I'm part of the Ranger team and we do events and activities to get everybody using the local parks and green spaces. Today, we're doing something for World Oceans Day and we're creating an underwater coral reef with lots of children, lots of paint and they've made lots of lovely pictures which we've hung up like uh, sharks and fish and crabs and sea urchins. It's great working together, um, we, all, we are all working towards one standard and that's the high standard that, that Salford have set. Um, we're all trying to achieve that um, and working with different departments, different colleagues, you, you're always working together um, to strive towards the one council that uh, Salford City Council believes in. One thing that we find really good with some of the staff is we have um, a number of staff that are local people so they have a, a real passion for the area, really know the area, really know the, the people that live here and what the people want and what they like. So that's a, a real real bonus for us um, and they also can listen out for local people and find out what's going on and what people are asking and needed. Um, 
so people feel a lot more comfortable with the staff because they're local and know, know what's going on and, and know the area. I live and work in the city, got lots of friends here, I've always lived here, lots of family live here. Um, the best measure of whether I'm delivering a good service or not is my dad. He's quick to tell me whether he, can't get, whether he can get through to the contact centre or he can't. Other people that are just socially mixed with, that's my uh, measure of whether people are getting a good service in Salford or not. I'm a public servant, I'm proud to be, and it's what I'll, I get a lot of job satisfaction out of, knowing that I've delivered a good service or been part of a team that's delivered a good service or part of a team that people are proud of where they live and the authority and what they provide for them. It's no way near perfect, it never will be and that's probably the challenge for me. Every day there's something new, there's always a surprise because everybody's an individual and everybody has different expectations and different needs. I expect my staff to treat people with dignity and respect and that again is about the same keywords, listening. Listening, what is somebody actually saying to you when you're talking to them? It isn't just about you have a script to follow in your job, you must do this. What does this customer actually want and what do they need? Our staff have boundless energy. They are eternally committed. They bring some great professional experience. But most of all, they just ooze passion and pride. And I'm very proud to be their chief executive.